I'm Russ Bowman and I'm an application engineer at Xair Corporation and today I'm going to show you how to clean an atomizing spray nozzle. There are very fine passages in the liquid and air caps which can be prone to clogging over time due to mineral deposits from hard water, additives to coatings and washes, or simply from product buildup. Impurities in the compressed air system can also be a prime culprit. We recommend use of a filter with a minimum of 25 micron filtration and a minimum flow rate of 24 standard cubic feet per minute. Our Model 9004 Automatic Drain Filter Separator is an excellent choice. It has a 5 micron filter element and automatically drains the moisture that it removes through a connection on the bottom. It can be easily coupled to the Model 9027 oil removal filter, if needed, and the Model 9008 pressure regulator for precision control of your air supply pressure. The first step to cleaning the atomizing spray nozzle is to remove the air cap. Secure the body in the soft jaws of a vise and use a 7 8 inch wrench to unscrew the air cap retainer from the liquid cap. You may need to use a backing wrench 13 16 inches in this case to hold the liquid cap in place for now. The air cap can then be removed. Next, use the 13 16 inch wrench to remove the liquid cap and gasket. You can then flip the nozzle body over and remove the stem assembly. Soft jawed pliers may be necessary to loosen the retainer. Take care not to lose the o-ring. If you have a set of miniature brushes, you can certainly use them to clean the precision holes in the nozzle caps. Make sure, however, that the bristles are low or no scratch material such as brass. We don't recommend using stainless steel bristles as they could damage the holes. If you don't have a set of miniature brushes, you don't necessarily need to run right out and buy some though. Honestly, our favorite tool for cleaning these here at the factory is a bread bag tie with the wrapping stripped off. The soft, pliable wire is ideal for pushing contamination from the holes without risking the damage that something stiffer, like a paper clip, could cause. Toothpicks are great too, since they won't scratch or otherwise damage the precision machined holes. In the case of hard water mineral deposits, you can soak the caps in vinegar. This should dissolve the deposits in a short time, but it won't hurt to leave them remain overnight. You can also use a mild degreasing solution to clean the atomizing spray nozzle parts. Depending on what you've been spraying with the nozzle, though, you'll want to ensure chemical compatibility. You may need to consult the material safety data sheet and or contact the manufacturer of the product for this. Once all parts have been thoroughly cleaned, simply reverse the disassembly steps to reassemble. and your X-Air atomizing spray nozzle is now ready for reinstallation and use. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the use or maintenance of your atomizing spray nozzles, don't hesitate to contact an application engineer. We're eager to help. Thanks for watching.